Hello, YouTubers and groovers, and welcome to TTFOTG from me, Jason Bangers. And from me, Mr. Chumley Warner. Me and Simon love anything that's real, real. Do we not? We love a real to real, don't we? And even cassettes are real to real. So this, if you want to look it up, is the Chinnan, that's uh, Charlie Hotel, India, November, Oscar, November, GL2000. I picked this up for about 40 quid on eBay. But this this one, for its time, it's quite ahead of its time, Si. Yeah, this makes the job easy, because you know with a reel-to-reel, you're always messing around trying to load up the tape. But this one, which Joe will show you in a bit, literally just get the film, feed it in through the front here, and it pulls it through. It's automatic, self-loading. Me and Simon would like to save you some money. This cost me about, um, I didn't get the reel, it was on a little plastic thing. I bought this as a Mickey Mouse film, and by God, it is Mickey Mouse, trust me. It's as Mickey Mouse as Mickey Mouse can be. Um, I paid eight ninety nine for this. I just needed, because I got that, and I really desperately wanted to watch something on it. One, to make sure it worked, and two, because I've never seen a cine video before since I was at school, which was a long time ago. And this turned up. And it is... For want of a better word, cream crackered, it's twisted, it's buckled, it's bent, you probably can't see it, it just goes everywhere, look, it's absolutely had it, and to say it's Mickey Mouse is, a, is an understatement, now what's happened is with this, well, I could just pull that and it, and it just breaks, It's now these are quite aggressive, these projectors, they've got two metal cogs in them, so si, haven't they? That's it, yeah, and you know why they're aggressive? Go on. Because they're called chin on, chin on, chin on. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> chin you. <laughs> chin you very, film. very good. So what's happened here, right, folks, is that the film where where the holes are for the leader, what they call, it's gone through, uh, and the cog has just tore into the next good one. So it's rip ripped into a good bit. So it's jumping several frames at a time instead of twenty four frames per second. You're probably getting. Frame, yeah, frames, 40, yeah, forty-five yeah. frames per second. It's just you can't watch it. It's crap. So what I got done there. You don't. And if it sounds like this, then it's no good. Trust me. However, I bought another one for about three pound. That one's got about forty foot on it. This one's got hundred and eighty foot on it. And this is somebody, Simon. This is somebody's holiday. Let's run it, shall we? Yeah. Shall we run it. Right. This is what you're watching now. Someone's holiday video. Now, why would you want to buy someone's holiday video? Well, there ain't really much else out there you can buy. If you want to buy a movie, you're damned, you ain't going to get one. And, of course, again, there's something missing on these things, Si. There's no sound on them. Some of these have a little magnetic strip along the side, and some projectors have sound, so it will give you the sound and the pictures. This is a silent projector, so what you've got to do is record the sound separately. And what people used to do is get, like, a tape machine... And over here, a cine camera. Mm. And when you start your cine camera, tape machine, and Jay will demonstrate. You will roll tape, you will roll sound, and you will hit that. And that tells you where you are, what you're filming, the date, the time, the place, what roll of film it is, everything, doesn't it? You put all the info on here. Exactly. And the reason I use a clapperboard is why so. Well it, gives you, it gives, well, it gives you a visual cue and it gives you an audio cue. So when the clapperboard comes down, you listen for the click on the audio, you start that just as the clapperboard comes down and everything will be in sync. But there's a problem with it. <laughs> well, especially with old, old reel-to-reels and tape machines or cassette machines, whatever you're using, they're not 100%... The, what I'm trying to say is the motor, the motor speed is not 100% no. so that you get wow, what they call wow and flutter. So you, you could be in sync to begin with, then the, then the tape recorder would drift. And then, especially if you're, if you're looking at people's mouths, they'd all go out of sync. Do you remember at school when we watched all the old stuff, for those of you that are old enough, that you'd remember the old teacher every now and then, he'd probably have to fast forward the tape just to catch up. But it was very rare that they'd have talking heads. It would just be a bit of audio over the top of an animation. And that, that way you can't really go that far out. But it would say, look at this bright pink Cadillac, and then 30 seconds later the Cadillac will appear, and you know it's all out of sync by then, don't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> good old days. Anyway, enough about that. What we love about this is it is real to real. Exactly that. But... As Simon said to you guys, this is a self-loading machine. So let's show you it self-loading. This one's great because it actually goes forward and backwards, which is quite cool. So we put it in forward, that's backward mode. Put it in forward mode like so. And as you can hear, 
the wonderful sound of history right there. Beautiful. Now, we've got two modes of brightness on the on the projector itself. That's its full brightness, and that's not full brightness, as you can tell. And that's Super 8, and that is Normal 8. I don't know if you can see on that back there, but it's out of focus. But it, Super 8 is bigger. Super 8 is better, which is why it's called Super. And this cinema, camera, projector, whatever, does both. Now, I didn't know how to do this, so this is for you guys who's got one. You put your leader in, up the top here, now you can't see it because we haven't got a camera on, but it's pretty self-explanatory if you've got one. Push your finger on this blue button, now I didn't know to do that, I had no idea. Feed it in and it'll start to take it. When it does that, just take your finger off, on and off, on and off. It will come out the back here, as we see on the 7D, and, and it should catch in here, this is a bit knackered. <laughs> Trust it to go, right, if it goes like that, just rewind it, alright, hit it backwards like so nine times seven times out of ten it will automatically pull in there and it will pull itself around so we'll start that again forward and it's oh, oh there you go see it just caught it like so and we're off now if it does that that's because the spool is a little bit distorted because it's old don't worry about it it will find its way and if you put a bit of tension on it or this one a bit of tension on it will it will sort itself out now it's done it all for you you haven't had to thread it or anything now don't worry about what that one's doing because as you can see on my hand actually where's that let me just show you because we as you can see in the background we're running the film for you anyway so you can see it working but just to show you there if you move out of the way mr chumley um that's pretty good because i haven't even focused it in fantastic isn't it i mean people had these I don't know, way back in the in the thirties, didn't they? Even before then. I suppose it took off in the I don't know what it would be fifties, sixties, isn't it? Sydney, they've been around for a long time. Maybe if you've been know something about it, drop us a comment. In that wonderful don't you just love it? That is history there. And this is somebody's home movie you're watching. Somebody's personal home movie. And that's pretty much like I say, that's pretty much all you're gonna find out there guys. If anyone knows where you can buy movies, by all means, let me know. Yeah, so what Jay's going to show you now is, he's going to just slip the side off yeah. and, and show you the workings of the, of the machine. Yeah, let's show you. It's, it's uh, cause Honestly, the bulb on this thing is like something alien, I swear, isn't it? I've never seen one like it. It's bizarre. Um, now, all, all you got to do is, if you get a, if you, if, if for some reason it all tangles up in here and gets caught up, which it can do, um, you've only really got to put it in reverse and it'll come back out again but if you have a problem where it snags up and it's tight this bit just pulls off believe it or not um i think i pulled it off for the first time ever because when i first pulled it off it was unbelievably tight so it's just got three locating lugs there and they just simply pop in now there it is in all its glory now have a look at that bulb guys have you ever seen anything like that that is not a piece of plastic over a bulb. That is the bulb. That is all the glass in it. And it's got to be, I don't know, it's got to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And it's actually soldered in place as well. So to get that bulb out, you've got to desolder it at the base. Oh, it's handy I've got to desolder until then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I guess that bulb has been set up as, as good as you can. You've got, to, you've got to get it dead on, haven't you? For this kind of thing so the way this thing works now we can see the inside of it guys is, is really clever because obviously we're talking about 24 frames per second here but we're running 24 single little photographs through per second it's just like stop animation and you might think well how does the shutter open and close well it doesn't open and close there's actually a wheel if you have a look here there's a wheel and it spins around like this let's just let you enjoy this for a few seconds That, is that over-engineered or what? <laughs> they just don't make things like that anymore, no, do they? No, it would cost too much money. I mean, looking looking from here, you can't see. You just can't see the opening and closing. I actually thought there was a thing that opened and shut like that side. Well, I suppose the wheel makes sense because it must be 
on a, on a pulley or a belt going in time with you know the same rotation as this. Yeah, but you know you hear that clacking sound, that click click clickety click. I thought that was a shutter opening and closing, but it ain't. That clacking sound is the plastic tape running through the cogs. That's what that is. That bulb is something else, and this this wheel's spinning round at the exact same rate in exact sync with the film. How the hell do they get it to do that? It's like a timing on a car engine, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's got to be just the same as that. It's very complicated. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Hopefully you could hear us talking whilst that was running, because that's quite noisy, as they generally were in the day. But I've got fond memories of being at school with a little tabletop cassette player. Yeah, yeah, I used to occasionally at assemblies, you know, in the holidays or getting near the holidays, they'd let you watch some films, which was nice. They'd be, yeah, what, what was it they would have? They'd have a beep on, they'd have a, not a beep, there'd be a flash, three flashes on screen. It would go five, four, three, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. on one, they'd have to hit the cassette player and that would take into account the leader on the cassette and, and it'd be roughly in time and no, there was no science about it at all. It was brilliant. But there you go, tubers. I mean, that's a nice little chin on GL2000. And uh, hopefully, if you didn't know how to load it, now you do. Remember, if you put knacker tape in it, we'll go clack, 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 and it won't uh, track. It just won't track. Don't bother. Just get rid of it. There's no point. Keep an eye out, because uh, as Simon just reminded me, I have just bought a job lot of cine cameras, um, five, for a very good price. And they all work, every one of them. It'd be so, great to do a show, wouldn't it? If, well, if yeah. we could, <laughs> we'd, we'd know nothing about... Well, there's two reels of tape there. One of them's new and one of them's not. And I, I don't really know whether it'd be worth doing. It will probably cost us £60, £70 pound for a five-minute show. And that's with no sound. However, we can do what we do. See, this whole video is done the old-fashioned way. We are linking sound to video. The cameras don't record sound well enough. Well, they do, but we need the mics here, close to us, so that it doesn't sound like we're too far away. So that's why you record sound on a separate entity. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, from us here, at T, fear, at the gear, it's a good boy for me, Jason Bangers. That's a good boy for me, Mr. Chambly Warner. Check you soon, tubes. <laughs>